Okay, YouTube friends, so in one of my previous videos, I talked about how my handle was a bit loose on me, so uh, we're going to see if we can save this handle and try and drive it out and, and uh, just kind of refit it. I originally handled this thing, I don't know, years ago. Five, six, seven years ago, I don't know. And I left it sitting outside, so it got super, super, super dry. So I could have just soaked it, but I'd rather try and refit it, and then it's never an issue again, right? Won't get any drier than it is right now, most likely. So. That's why I'm trying to not have to just cut it off. So we're trying to drive it out of here. I'm trying to remember to speak up. I got uh, the AC going out here. So Whew. I used to have an old handle shaved down just for this, but it's been so long since I did it, I don't know where the handle is. So. there. outside but it's not. There it is. And I know from earlier I have a small drill bit in it so. trim it off flush. Then we will try driving it out again. Take this over to the bandsaw and just clean out that kerf real quick.
so we got the new new kerf in it and I'll do some hand work on it to, to actually get the fit but I'm going to do some power sanding to clean this up so we will get this all untangled See if we blow a breaker. No. chips out of there. So now we'll, I'll start working on reseat nest. So it has coarse spine, flat, curved. Works pretty good. Now we'll get it nice and smooth with this. She happens. Ooh, I'm liking that. Grab that home. Okay. I'm gonna run over to the bandsaw and trim some of that off. Just clean it up. And then 
when you look at her, she's nice and nice and even. That's a good amount of curl. So now we're ready to grab us a wooden wedge. And this wedge is wider, so we just gotta clean it up a little. We'll tap a little kindling sliver off there. Then we're ready. Send it. Okay. Now that head's good and tight, so I'll go trim this up one more time, then we'll sand her smooth. And I chipped a little off the handle down here, so we'll clean that up too. on the hands have a little more control I think I might go ahead and drive this round wedge in there. Kind of like these. I don't know if they help me any better, but they look cool. So there we go. Then one last thing. Grab the boiled linseed oil. Now I'm not worried about it as far as wearing a glove and dry your hand out a little bit. I got some other stuff to do out here, so I just don't want uh, to be getting everything all oily. get the whole handle since we know she got pretty dry we'll give the whole handle a good coating and like that she's back in service ready for another however many years of use 
until I do something silly and smack it and break it. It'll happen eventually. When you get tired, you don't do think right sometimes. But, well, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more.